It is the 30th of the 6th, 2011. This is today's climate change update. I've got a lot to cover. We're going to start with energy news. I'm just reading the headlines. I, please, I encourage you to read these stories. Nuclear materials expert. Los Alamos lab is potentially vulnerable to this wildfire. Let's just hope to hell the wind blows in the right direction. And that fire is getting seriously, seriously out of control. TEPCO is having trouble injecting nitrogen to avoid explosion at reactor number three. Experts concerned about possible explosion at number three. Now you got to remember that's the one with the plutonium MOX fuel combination. And I know it's just a percentage of plutonium, but one pound can kill all of us. Fox News, U.S. is receiving a steady flow of radiation from Fukushima. Media paying little attention to radiation in food, as if the problem only involves Japan. They're finding it in the milk in New York. This is insane. Time.com, is Los Alamos lab really safe from wildfire? Additional plutonium problems? Here we go, plutonium, plutonium, plutonium. Uh, very high concentrations of hot particles in Pacific Northwest during April, May. Includes plutonium and americium, A-M-E-R-I-C-I-U-M. Gunderson, water boiling up from hole in floor at unit number one, Fukushima. That's, uh, they're all breached and in the groundwater. They're all China Syndrome. Local ABC News, 10-mile evacuation around Fort Calhoun nuclear power plant. And uh, they've got a video out where the, the head of the NRC is saying everything's completely under control and it's, it's just standard procedure to evacuate every 10 miles. We have contingencies for this. Nothing to see, folks. CNN, floodwaters closing in on Fort Calhoun nuclear plant. Officials concerned about deep water around the facility. No kidding. Wildfire expected to grow indefinitely, firefighters said yesterday. Make or break day, but the fire has refused to be tamed. This is in New, um, New Mexico, Los Alamos fire. And again, another story. Fire chief chief at Los Alamos. God, I hope not. God, I hope not. I seriously think we'll be up to 100,000 acres. And concern that drums filled with plutonium contaminated waste at Los Alamos could burst from the fire's heat. And the world must be thinking, what on earth is wrong with Japan? Where scenes, where the sense of the crisis. Why is our government? Why isn't our government protecting us? Ask the daycare founder. My God. And residents worried about radioactive smoke plume. If fire reaches radioactive waste, if it gets to this contamination, it's over. Not just for Los Alamos, but for Santa Fe. And again, plutonium, plutonium. Over to Earth Changes, Scott.net. The United Kingdom, a mild tsunami strikes Cornish coast, shifting water levels in a flash. And they have a video of this, and there are reports of uh, high energy output uh, where people's hair were literally psh, static electricity so uh, I think this was a little more than just a little tsunami action going on here but of course they're not sure and the reports of fish jumping out of water blah 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 expert warns of ex epic weather ravaging US could worsen and there's a global warming scam story um, <clears throat> stories about Al Alnwick Gardens, Himalayan lilies ruined by heavy rain, and British Broadcasting Corporation. At least 31 dead as heavy rain slash India. Heavy rain forces 16,000 to evacuate in southern China. Heavy rains batter southeast Mexico, and that's that tropical storm down there. Lightning strikes kill 15 in northeast Nigeria. And uh, Nebraska, a storm serves up supersized hail in Sydney. 
Heavy rains, sour cocoa in southeast Ivory Coast, Africa. And Los Alamos Fire Environmental Protection Agency testing for radiation. Now are they going to give us the, the output of those tests? I wonder. Saudi Arabia vows to get nukes if Iran acquires them. Now this is on the extinction protocol. Flames leap within sight of Los Alamos Nuclear Weapons Laboratory. They've got a really good picture of it. And uh, death in the skies. 15 killed by lightning strikes in Nigeria. 18 die in Uganda. Severe weather in Africa. Uh, Chile's Paihu Cordon Kali volcanic eruption may cool planet's atmosphere. And again, I'm saying this huge volcano is a climate changer and you gotta remember this is the rift that's six miles long and three miles across and uh, still interrupting traffic insane by the numbers the deadliest tornado season in the United States in 50 years and uh, saying year-to-date tornadoes have killed more than 500 people that's seven times the average making it this the deadliest tornado season in more than half a century these are with all the new fangled up warnings and whatnot too as well. Avalanches, avalanches, or is Mount Rainier volcano waking up? Some of the biggest rock avalanches of years have been roaring off Mount Rainier over the past several days, kicking up billowing clouds of dust and propelling rivers of muddy debris nearly two miles down the volcano's flanks. Tropical storm Arlene forms in the Gulf of Mexico, and of course this is bringing rain to much-needed areas of Mexico. Um, Arlene's pretty much a blessing right now. Uh, violence erupts in streets of Athens, Greece, inches closer to the abyss, and I read a report where Eastwatch put out where Athens, where Greece uh, okayed the the bailout and <clears throat> sold out to the bankers and the people are not happy. Tons of radioactive water leaking from crippled Japanese nuclear power plant. That is the understatement of the night. Antarctica's Pine Island Glacier melting from below twice as fast as previously thought. And uh, over to RSOE. Of course, we're having more aftershocks in Japan. Uh, flooding in China. A nuclear event in Tornus Nuclear Power Station, Scotland, United Kingdom. Uh, this is another jellyfish where jellyfish have shut down a nuclear power plant. You know, uh, green energy. Everything's under control, folks. Don't worry. Flash flooding in the Philippines. Uh, cold wave in Brazil, Uruguay, Argentina, Chile, Peru, and Bolivia. Here comes winter full spring. Uh, full swing, I should say. Excuse me. Forest fire in uh, Los Alamos, uh, New Mexico. Flooding in North Dakota, Missouri, Nebraska, Iowa. Forest fires in uh, Texas. Upshur, Greg, and Jasper counties, and again, I put that video out earlier that the world is burning, you know, uh, up-to-date fires. I might do one of those a week and see what's going on as far as watching how the fires progress. Uh, flooding in the state of Nebraska, that's the, the nuclear Fort Calhoun. They've got it under flooding, and uh, more fires in Arizona and New Mexico, of course, and of course, everything else is going on right now. Um, if I've missed anything, of course, please leave your comments or attach your videos below. Enjoy what you can. Thanks, everybody.